I'm joined here in the booth by Dr. Sarah Zekin, who is the Jensen Awardee for uh, 2019. So do you mind just uh, introducing yourself and your background a little bit? Yes, yeah, so uh, I am Sarah Zekin. I'm a postdoc fellow working at the University of Milano. Uh, during my PhD, I have studied the microorganisms involved in arsenic cycle in rice rhizosphere. And now, now I'm continuing to study this, um, working on this topic, basically enlarging the study of microbial arsenic cycle in general, also in other environments, so groundwaters, uh, agricultural crops, and also some extreme environments. Um, highly contaminated with arsenic. So you were telling me earlier that um, these, uh, these, these uh, bacteria live in a biofilm in, ca in waters that up in some Italian alpine, uh, alpine caves. Yes. So you had to travel first to the bacteria, yes. but you also got to travel to Amsterdam. So do you mind exactly. telling me about both those trips? <laughs> so um, a couple of years ago, basically, we started to study this site because it was identified as basically uh, a site with huge amounts of arsenic. It's a place where people live, so these people have to deal with this great, uh, these huge amounts of arsenic. So we uh, went there. We basically sampled a different kind of um, um, environmental matrices, basically. So we sampled some plants living there, and this uh, specifically this biofilm living in the stream, in the uh, basically on the rocks of this uh, stream. Okay. Uh, so we brought them to the University of Milano, where I work, and we isolated some microorganisms, and also we uh, isolated the DNA and stored it, basically. And so what we would like to do is to characterize these microbial strains that we isolated and in parallel um, sequence the whole DNA that we isolated to find new functions that were okay. not previously characterized. Yeah. Cool. And then you get to go and visit some experts in Amsterdam yes. who are experts in arsenic and bacteria? Or? Exactly. So I will <coughs> go to Professor Gerard Muitzer in his group. Uh, Gerard Muitzer is working since many years in uh, microbial arsenic cycles, he, so he has uh, a great expertise on that topic. And so with the help of uh, him and with the members of his group, I will be able to uh, char characterize uh, metabolically these uh, microbial communities. So. Okay. And so what's the next step for this research for you? Uh, you mean after? Yeah, after this. <laughs> after this, I would like basically yeah. to um, somehow uh, use uh, the results coming from this research uh, to think about some solutions to be applied in this uh, contaminated site. Okay. So this, uh, so this work would be helpful both for general understanding of how uh, arsen microbial arsenic cycle works, but also to find new solutions, so new applications, for example, developing new biofilters to somehow okay, to trap remove it arsenic, from the water for and example, okay. exactly. So this would open several doors, I would Very say. Very cool, yeah. nice. So uh, I have a few extra questions uh, that I'm asking everyone who sits here. Yes. Um, and so the first one is, what's your favorite microbe and why? What's my favorite microbe? Um, I must say, um, you mean a species? I mean, you, you a species want to is one of, <laughs> but you, you can break the rules and give a larger taxonomic class if you need. Yeah, well, um, I would have to say I'm very affectionate to iron bacteria in general, so yeah. Geobacter <laughs> would be my favorite. Okay, one. yeah. And this is because uh, iron bacteria are strictly related to arsenic cycle because iron can bind to, uh, ir um, to arsenic uh, minerals and vice versa. Okay. So Geobacter is one of the key players in arsenic cycle indirectly. So yeah. I would say, yeah. Nice, cool species. <laughs> um, so then the second question is, what one piece of microbiological knowledge should every person in the world know? I mean, what one microbiological fact or piece of information or perspective changing statistic okay. do you think that it would be good if every human being were to know this? I think uh, everybody should know the role of microbial communities in mm. our daily life because, okay, now we are getting aware of the role of the gut microbiota, for example. So. Yeah. But people that are not uh, familiar with microbiology is any in these years is getting more confident with the idea of having a gut microbiota, functioning functionally developed, etc. 
And so I think this concept is already getting to the people, but I think that um, in general people should know that also there are also other systems that are, that are directly related to their life. And these are, for example, uh, plant microbiome interactions. So okay. microbiota living with crops, for example. And so with, I our, think with our food source in exactly. and around so the roots. Exactly. So everything we eat is strictly related to microbial life. So okay. I think this should yeah. be important. That's a good one. Thank <laughs> you. And um, my last question yeah. is, who is your microbiological hero and why? Ooh. <laughs> Um, I have several microbiological okay. well, heroes. Well, you can give me a few. That's okay. So, probably the first one, uh, I can say names and yeah, last names. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably the first one uh, is Michael Wagner, because okay. that is the first great microbiologist that I have dealt with uh, during my master yeah. thesis, okay. basically. So, I've never worked with him directly, but I was host in his group, his great group. And so that that was the first one basically okay. that really. And then the second, but not the the less important, is uh, Bernard Schink, which is a German uh, bi microbiologist, and he's a, in particular he's a biochemist, which gave great contribution to uh, the understanding of biochemical cycle in microorganisms. He, he retired last year okay. or two years ago, I think. So he's not working anymore. But I think he was one of the greatest microbiologists mm. I've ever met. I, I do find scientists tend to never quite retire. They always end up doing something. But has he retired fully or? Uh, I think uh, just, uh, I mean, I, I think he's still working. Okay, because <laughs> that, that, that's the kind of person that never retires. Yeah, I OK. Think, so. um, was that another, another one? Or was that the two you had? No? no? OK, you good. You've given us twice as many. So thank you very much. Thank you. Right, so from arsenic cycles to your favorite microbiologists and geo back to your favorite microbe <laughs> and the fact we should all place microbial communities centrally in our understanding of our food and our guts. I just want to say thank you to Dr. Sarah Zekin for joining me in the FEMIS 2021 booth. And hopefully you can join us maybe at FEMIS 2021. Maybe you'll be there as well at the next sure. one. So yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good time and thanks for thank this. Thank you. Thank you.